Hi guys, I hope you guys are all staying safe. Uh, as you know, we're doing a campaign on sexual health and you, and it's basically about sexual health and chronic diseases and the way they get impacted due to that. And um, the main purpose of this was just to start a conversation uh, to get talking about sexual health um, in patients who are suffering from chronic diseases which means for you we would really like to get some queries questions anything that you guys are facing personally or know a family member who's going through and has not been able to get uh, real answers so go ahead write us uh, something on the comments you can dm us uh, and uh, we'll try to get you experts help as soon as possible so i want to really quickly get into um, the medications you know the treatment that uh, we give as doctors to patients and how that can actually impact your uh, sexual health we know that chronic diseases actually cause a huge array of uh, complications and effects on different parts of the body um, many physicians will even speak to you about how it causes a complication on your heart on your brain nobody generally talks likes to talk about um, the effect it has on sexual health not only the diseases but the medications they actually play a big uh, part in um, certain side effects that can compromise your sexual health. So starting with hypertension and just because that it's one of the most commonest uh, diagnosis and almost everyone I know is on some kind of antihypertensive. So when we specifically talk about things like beta blockers, um, your water pills, uh, your diuretics, they can impact your uh, sexual health quite negatively. They can cause uh, erectile dysfunction in men something like cancer and you know we know that it already is impacting your physical and emotional well-being but it does have a huge impact on your sexual health also whether it is chemotherapy radiotherapy um, immunotherapy a cocktail of medication uh, things like anti-cancer anti-metabolite drugs these do uh, cause a lot of damage uh, mainly to your struct main mainly to your reproductive system therefore causing a problem in the hormones which can lead to an array of uh, side effects in women we can see a lot of loss of libido uh, hot flashes we can see uh, vaginal dryness uh, ulcers uh, general uh, intensity of orgasm becoming really low uh, or not being able to attain orgasm in men we see a lot of erectile dysfunction uh, again we see a lot of premature ejaculation even retrograde ejaculation and as you can you know <laughs> understand this does affect a uh, person's you know mental well-being um, others would be like medications uh, for diabetes, for rheumatoid arthritis, for lupus. These are all, um, you know, diseases which when we treat, uh, the drugs can cause a lot of side effects from, again, premature ejaculation to erectile dysfunction, very commonly seen. Um, and, you know, we, we, you will think it's probably because of the age or because I'm stressed, but you will never guess it could be because of the drugs. So um, ideally, the best way to go about it is have an open conversation with your doctor. Let them know that you're having certain symptoms. And, um, you know, uh, even if the doctor is not willing to initiate that conversation with you, please take the effort and, you know, name your symptoms. Uh, describe them to uh, your doctor, whoever you're seeing. And they should either be able to give you an option to change if there is a choice of alternative medication or they can give you medication to help alleviate the symptoms and make you feel better and have a, a better sexual health uh, and just general well-being, you know. Your overall health is very important and sexual health plays a huge part in it. So stay informed, uh, read about your diagnosis, read about the medications you take and always be, uh, you know, vigilant in asking questions to the right people. Like I said, do leave us comments or DMs and we will try to get experts to answer uh, some of the queries you have or even arrange uh, appointments if, we, uh, if you really need it. Um, that's it from me for today. I hope you guys are all taking care. Bye-bye.